Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through the introduction of a B tree and we will also solve a problem guys so that we will be having a clear idea. Guys, you should understand the main, the thing that you should remember in this B and even B plus tree. The concepts are really same guys. There is not even a small change. There is only a small change that you will be going through it. Don't worry if I say it now, you will be again confused with it. Okay. So please understand what I am saying really clearly guys because it's really important. Okay, so basically B stands for Bayer's tree or we will be also calling it as balanced tree, balanced research tree, fine. Okay, so the aim of this balanced research tree is to build an index structure. So this, we, this topics all belongs to indexing guys, don't worry. Okay, okay, so the representation of it will be in this way. So let us assume this is our root node. In that we will be having multiple keys and each key will be having a, their subtrees. So these are also in this format, they will also be having subtrees and this process continues. So this is the basic representation, sorry for that, of B and even B plus tree guys. Fine. Okay. So now let us go through some properties of B tree. Remember, this are also applicable for B plus tree guys. So that is the reason why please concentrate a bit just to spend your 5 to 10 minutes and understand what these points are saying. So those are the important things that you should remember. Okay. So the properties of B tree of order K and this order we are assuming a letter K. Fine. Okay. So the root node must have 2 to K children. So it is saying all about its children, right? Okay. So a root node can have 2 to K children and the internal node must have k by 2 this is ceiling value guys so you will not be having a bracket at the bottom so these values will be calling as ceiling so even you get to 2.5 or 2.1 also will be taking the maximum value that is 3 fine okay 2k all leaf nodes must be at the same level so these are the main three points that you should remember and there is one more key thing that is in b tree or b plus tree if we are having n children we will be having n minus one keys. You should remember this because this is the concept of both B and B plus tree. Okay. So once we are going through the example, I'll be just re recollecting these steps so that we'll be solving the initial part. Okay. Okay. So let us take a small example, guys. It's not small. It's a big. Okay. So construct B tree for order five. So in the previous properties, which we have discussed, the order is we denoted with K. So now k is equals to 5. The value of k is equals to 5. So they gave some keys. 12, 18, 9, 16, 21, 41, 8. Is it 8 or 18? It is 8. 8, 6, 3, 2, 64, 69. So these are the keys which are given. Okay. So the first thing is that we need to find the properties about root node. The three properties which we discussed about root, about internal and all leaf nodes should be at the same level. So these, those are the three properties which we have discussed. Fine. Root node. So I told you the thing for root node is nothing but root node will be having 2 to, is it clear? Yes. 2 to k children. So this statement is nothing but root node. About root node, right? So root node, right? Minimum children. C H I L D. Children is equals to how many minimum children we can have? 2. And maximum children will be k. k is nothing but in this question it is 5. So if the given question if it is 3 you will be taking 3. Fine. Okay. So now whenever you are writing about child correspondingly find about keys. Minimum key is equals to 1 and maximum key is equals to 4. Guys this is one of the most important thing that you should remember about this keys. So basically the maximum number of keys in a root node are 4. Once you notice 5 keys in the root node, you need to split it guys. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this. Yes. Okay. So once we are going through the example, you'll be understanding. Don't worry. Even if you have a small confusion, you'll be understanding it. Don't worry. So now let us go through internal node. I N fine. So internal node, we told the formula as k by 2 ceiling value of k by 2 to k yep i think this is what we told 
So basically the value of k is nothing but phi by 2. So minimum, maximum, minimum, maximum. Here child, child, key. Sorry for that guys. Okay. So we'll be having maximum here. Fine. Okay. So I told k by 2, right? So k value is phi. So what is the normal value of phi by 2? It is 2.5. I told ceiling value. So take the maximum value of 2.5. It will be 3, right? So if you apply the ceiling value, what is the next number to this? That will be your ceiling value. But don't write ceiling value of 2 as 3, right? Okay, two, for 2 it is 2. For 2.1 or 2.00001, it will be 3. Fine? Okay, so that is the reason why we will be having the minimum keys as 3. Sorry, minimum child as 3 and keys will be 2. 2k two means we'll be having 5 and 4. So now in internal node also the maximum number of keys are 4. So once you notice 5 keys, you need to split it up. So you'll be understanding it, don't worry. Okay. So these are the main conditions which we have discussed till now guys. The properties and everything. So now let us go through the main solution. Okay, I'm just folding the paper, just give me a second. Okay. Okay. So first let us go through the values. Okay. So basically, I'll be using I as insert, guys. Instead of writing the total insert word, I'll be just using I in bracket, I'll be writing the value. Fine. So the first thing, I hope the video is clear. I of 12, that is nothing but insert 12. So in this way, you should write step by step so that the evaluator will be understanding it clearly. Fine. So take the first value in your node. So it will be 12. Nice. So insert 18. So we told the maximum value as keys should be 4 and once it reaches 5, you should pull the pull it above. Fine. Okay. So now 18. Too well. 18. So after 18, we are having insert 9. So remember one more thing. Whenever you are inserting, arrange them in ascending order, guys. Please remember that also. 9. 12 18 till now we reached till 3 so now insert sorry insert 16 right okay 16 so now let us insert 16 okay so inserting 16 means it will be in between right 12 16 18 so 9 12 16 18 fine okay so now let us continue insert so here we reached a maximum of four keys right so stay calm until we reach here so uh, once you reach to four please start concentrating from now 21 so if you insert 21 what will be the situation just draw it okay so it is 9 to well 16 18 21 right so once you notice here we are having one two three four five we are having five keys but our maximum key number is four this is root node right so in both it is four so as it is a root node it should have maximum keys four only but we are having five so why it should be changed right so that is the reason why i'll be just splitting it split please remember this word it's really important guys split okay so till 4 you will be just continuing and once you reach 5 you need to split it. It's compulsory. Please remember the condition why I am saying it again and again. Because in the exams we will be just thinking that once we reach 6 we should split or we will be having a small confusion right. Okay. So once you split this what will be the resultant. So I will be just drawing it right here guys. Okay. So our root node will be 16 now. So where we are splitting in the exact center. So cancel one here, cancel one here, cancel one here, cancel one here. So this will be our center. So the, at that position we'll be splitting. So 16 on one side we'll be having 9 and 12. And on the other side we'll be having 18 and 21. So please remember that whenever you are constructing B tree or B plus tree for a root node on the left we will be having the lesser values. And on the right side, we'll be having greater than or equal to values. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. Okay. So let us continue. Fine. So till now we are done till 16, 21, right? So till here we are done. So now let us continue our process with 41. So 16, 
41 is greater than 16. So, six, 41 will be coming on to the right side. 16. And on the left we are having 9, 12. And this side we are having 18, 21. And we are also having 41. Fine. Okay. So, now we are done with 41. So, the next thing it is given as 8. So, I will be just opening the page guys so that I can just draw it again. Okay. So, okay. Let me draw it again so that you can understand it clearly. 16 on one side we are having 9 and 12 and on the other side we are having 18 21 41 okay okay so let me draw draw it completely okay so till here we have done so 41 is also done so now let us go through 8 where should 8 go so 8 is less than 16, right? So 8 should be accommodated here as it is less than 9 also. So there also you should maintain the ascending order. So insert 8. So it will be nothing but 16. On one side it will be 8, 9, 12. That is nothing but on the left side guys. 16, 12. And on 16 we are having, on the right side of 16 we are having 19, sorry 18, 21 and 41. Fine. Okay. So now we are done with 8. Now let us move through 6. So if you draw again, you need to draw it again and again guys because it's your theory exam. If it is your, just you need to say the answer or it is a multiple option question, you can just do it in one to two steps guys. Basically this is a theory exam. So you should do it theoretically step by step. So initially 6, after that 8, after that 9, after that 12. Fine. So on the other hand, we will be having 18, 21, 41. 41 fine okay so we are done with 6 so now let us go through 3 so till now we have we have raised already 4 here 4 elements or 4 keys fine okay so now the 3 chance came insert 3 fine so here it will be 16 on the on this side we will be having 3 6 9 12 I think I okay 8 9 12 so these will be the values okay so on the other side we'll be having the same guys please maintain the level guys don't write like how i am writing in this way so right you should write in the exact level so if you observe here so let us take this as an example so if you observe here see the same line the same line so they should be like that you should maintain that guys okay okay so let me i'll be just showing you at the end guys so that you can understand that how you should present it in the exam so that it will be good. Okay, so here we have reached 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 elements. So what is the center element for these all things? It is nothing but 8, right? So you will be pushing 8 up. So this 8 will be pushed to here. Beside 16. Fine? Okay, so let me push it. I will be drawing it in the center guys. Because the diagram had become a bit big. 16. Okay. On the right side of 8. On the left, sorry, left of the 8, we are having 3 and 6. Just to draw them. So these are nothing but your ch child notes, guys. I hope everyone knows that. So on the right side of 8, we are having 9, 12. On the right side of 16, we are having the common things 18, 21, 41. Fine. So till, where did we do? Till 3, 3 is also done. So the left thing is 2. So I will just updating it here guys or shall I do? Okay, let me do so that let us check the at the end we can check the final answer. 8, 16. So now we are inserting 2 right. Okay. 2 will be at the starting position. 2, 3, 6. And the rest whole thing will be the same. 9, 12. Further moving on. 18, 21, 41. Okay, so what is the next key? It is nothing but 2 is done, 64 and 69. So I will be just adding them in a single step guys. So if you add them in a single step. So did I do any mistake guys? Okay, so let us let us continue guys. Because if you see the answer in the middle, that will be the situation. So that is the reason why you need to. Better to check the answer at the end. So just give me a second. I am taking a piece of paper. Okay. So I hope everyone is now clear till 2. We did till 2, right? 
so let me draw the same thing again or shall i update it here itself okay let us update it here itself so we need to add 64 right okay so 8 16 are the only root nodes we are root we are having here we are having 2 3 and 6 guys please understand this guys because i'll be just teaching you a bit fast with b plus 3 that's the reason why i'm just saying you here step by step because you should understand the concept you cannot expect the same question to come in the exam so that's the reason why you should understand how we need to solve it so here we are having 64 right yeah 64 so now we are done with 64 now the last thing is 69 so insert 69 so 69 will be stored at the end so if you observe here we already reached 4 so once you insert 64 it will be an overflow again so okay guys i'll be showing you how you should write the overflow and everything don't worry 9 12 and for this we are having 18 21 41 64 69 18 fine so now again we raised here 5 so what is the center it is 41 so 41 will be accommodated here so the final diagram for this question will be 8 16 41 Okay, to the 8 we are having 2, 3, 6. Fine. For the 16 left we are having 9 and 12. For 16 right we are having 18, 21. Or you can even assume 41's left. 18 and 21. So whatever way is easy for you, please understand in that way guys. Because it's really an easy problem it will be coming for 6 to 10 marks in some case some papers it is almost given for 10 marks also okay so this will be your final b tree so if you understand how we did it it's really easy and simple guys so if you observe the question so all the values in the question should be available in your b tree and one more condition is that they should be in ascending order 2, 3, 6, 8, 6, 8 9, 12, 16, 18, 21, 41, 64 and 69 so this is your B tree. So I hope everyone got a small idea. So now let us go through the solution which I have just did in the book guys so that you can have a clear idea. So we inserted 12, 18, 9, 16. Here we reached 4 but there is no issue. Once we reached 5 we pushed it up or we splitted it up. Split use the word split guys because it will be a bit good. So we continued again and at this situation we again reached split. So at this situation only you write here overflow guys because it looks really good so the evaluator can understand what you are doing. So in that way we inserted and the final answer in both the situations we got the same guys. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this. So in the next tutorial we will be going through B plus tree. Thank you. Thanks for watching.